Devontae, I guess just after what happened late in the Northwestern game, not playing the last 12 minutes, what was your mindset these past couple of days, and then how do you kind of explain just you know being able to, to, to fight through the adversity and, and play as well as you did today? Um, I mean, the game never changes. I mean, some days it's good, some days it's bad. Um, and you just got to bounce back from the bad ones. So those are mindset I had coming into the, to today, to the next day, and to every day moving forward. I always want to have a better day than the last, bad or good. Dustin? I think, uh, obviously, you guys were able to hold them to 16 points in the paint. Basically, it seemed like it was really difficult for them to get anything inside. What did you feel like just went well on the defensive end as far as just you know, keeping them from getting anything going in there? Um, I would say that Joey and Duran specifically did a really, really good job on um, Caleb Wesson. They really made it difficult for him in, to uh, catch the ball. And when he did get the ball inside, we really closed, on, closed down the defense and they played really good defense on him. So, um, I mean, you got to take tip your hat to those two guys. Go ahead. Back there real quick. What does it do for you guys offensively when somebody like Rob comes out and hits three threes like that real quick in the game? Energy. It gives us energy. The fans get hyped. Uh, energy in the building. Energy for our team. I guess to stay on Rob, obviously he's, he's gone through a lot with, with the injuries, everything he's dealt with physically. Just what's it like to, to see him battle through that? And uh, just what it means to you guys to see him you know, come out having a night like this, you just the kind of progress he's making and getting through everything? Um, he's a warrior, and you know he's, he's stuck with it through the, through the hard times. And um, he was due for one of these games. Um, he came out hot, and you know that really set the tone for the rest of the team going forward during the game. Um, he's, he's a key part of the team, and you know, we're glad that he's, he's playing well again. Jerome played a lot of key minutes in this game. Obviously, we do well on the, the shooting numbers, but he's obviously doing some good things that we don't see in practice and had some good minutes today. What are you guys seeing out of him that, that stands out to you in practice? Um, he's a good player. He knows how to, um, he knows how to get his touches near, near the rim, and he knows how to finish around the rim or drill fouls. And he comes to practice to work every day, so I think he, he deserves um, the night he had tonight. Um, Justin, it seemed like, uh, I mean, you guys had a scoring drought at the end of the first half, and it seemed like you guys had had a tough time bouncing back from scoring droughts. Um, what, did you, what did you feel like you guys were able to do to kind of start the second half in a better way than you ended the first half? Um, I think that we let our defense create our offense. We really um, got some stops down the stretch that um, although that we really weren't, we had a tough time at the foul line, and we really weren't hitting a ton of shots. But um, we just, we really, you know, focused on defense. You know, and coaches really been on us about that, um, and the, the worked out tonight. Frank Monte, if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to ask that talk about question I hate, but would you mind talking about your commitment to defense tonight in general? Um, I've always been a player who um, took pride in my defense and um, seeing it as a plus to my game. To, it's a big part of the game for our team, especially. But coming in tonight, I think I just um, had the mindset of I'm, I'm going to be the best that I can defensively so that we could get the W. Did you come here with that? I mean, are you saying that that was your mindset? Do you think you played that way? Yeah, definitely came into the game with mindset. I mean, as a freshman. I mean, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even as a freshman, came in um, with a defensive mentality. It was one of the upper size of my game coming in, especially as a freshman. Right, Jeff? Uh, this is for both of you guys if you can answer. You double figure win over the number 11 ranked team in, in the country today. After some of the struggles you've had, what does this say about where you guys are at and where you guys can go? Uh, I think we, we, we just take one, one day at a time, one game at a time. We don't, um, we don't worry about the ranking of the team or who it is. This is a good league. Every team is going to be good. So we, we just got to Got to get as many wins as we can. Um, well, that was loud. Uh, I would say that, I mean, like Monte said, we really don't care about ranking. We're going we're gonna to have to play anyways. So we might as well go out there and play hard, try to win the game, um, and just see what happens. For Justin, Devontae's two best games have been against Florida State and Ohio State, which are your two biggest wins. Is that 
uh, assign that how key he is to the success of this team? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's nobody in that locker room that doesn't doubt the necessity he is to our team. Um, he he can do a lot of different things. He can score, pass, um, defend. I mean, like he's a very very important part to our team, and um, we need him in these big games. He showed up. Uh, Coach Miller talked a lot in the last game about just needing to improve ball movement. Ball movement for that is something that had to get a lot better. Basically, how would you guys assess that today? What worked well in that regard, and what didn't work well? I think he moved the ball well today. Um, we've been emphasizing it in practice, and um, I think we definitely displayed it on the court today. Devonte, you've had to go through some ups and down moments of the course this year. How do you handle that yourself when you when you go out of a game, say like Wednesday night, where it wasn't your best? And, uh, do you, are you good at just shaking it off and moving on, or, or how much does it bother you? Uh, I mean, like I said earlier, there's just some bad days and some good days, and. Um, I just try to let the bad days not be too bad. You know I mean, and try to bounce back from from all bad days and limit my bad days, make them lower as, as I go forward. Okay. Anything else for the players? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Devontae, I know coming off the bench today, you kind of led the second unit and there were only five bench points against Northwestern. I mean, how much pride did you take in that kind of leading the second unit? And your thoughts on some of the other guys around you that maybe kind of stepped up off the bench today as well. Uh, what's the question? Just about the bench production today compared to Northwestern, and you, you were part of that. Um, I mean, I try to leave the, the guys that's on the floor every time I'm on the floor. And um, I mean, I guess today I just happened to be a big part of the bench. But all of our, everybody that came off the bench did play well and did what they needed to do in order for us to get this win. So I'd say it's been yeah, more productive. All right, anything else for the guys? Thanks. I would have brought would have brought Rob, but he's 